Hi, my name's Deborah, and you're joining me for another historical Women Crush Wednesday. Today we're going back to the film industry. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a quick question. Who's this? If you answered Alfred Hitchcock, you would be correct. He is one of the most iconic faces and silhouettes in all of Hollywood. Now, who's this? This is Alma Reville. This is Alfred Hitchcock's wife. Huh? I know, right? I have seen every single one of Alfred Hitchcock's films, and I had never knew that he was married. Now, this is exactly why I have created Women Crush Wednesday, so that we can talk about amazing women like Alma. She originally got into the film industry by serving tea to the production elite in England. She is English. She met Alfred um, Hitchcock on a film set, and he eventually hired her to be the editor on Woman to Woman, which is a film that he made in the 1920s. He actually offered her the job, and she turned him down the first time because he wasn't going to pay her enough. So Alma and Alfred were actually married for a very long time, 50 years, and she has been credited on 19 of his films. Um, her impact, though, reaches far beyond these 19 films that her name is attached to. She co-wrote The Ring in 1927 and wanted to be a director, but at the birth of her daughter, of their daughter, and their move from Britain to America uh, sort of changed things up for her. Even though she wasn't able to physically be on the ground in order to help with everything that happened on set, she co-wrote so many of his scripts, even ones that she is not credited with. Incidentally, most of the films that were adapted by her followed a very specific narrative pattern in which a woman was scorned by a man. I wonder why. Many people think that that was about their relationship, especially because Alfred was known to have lots of dalliances with lots of different blondes on his set. One of the most important impacts that she had was on his 1960s film, Psycho. Now, I'm sure you know what Psycho is. If you don't, go watch it right now. <laughs> okay, you're back. So, you remember that very iconic scene when she's in the shower and we've got the knife stabbing with the very intense, important sound behind? When Alfred first saw that cut, he didn't want any music behind it. It wasn't until she forced him to add the music and listen to it and experience it that he actually allowed the music to stay in. So without Alma, that iconic psycho scene would not be the way that we know it today. This is just one of the many examples of how important Alma was to Alfred Hitchcock's legacy. And even though he did dalliance and was not faithful to his wife, he obviously did appreciate her. Um, in 1979, he accepted a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute, and he said these words, I ask permission to mention by name only four people who have given me the most affection, appreciation, and encouragement and constant collaboration. The first of the four is a film editor. The second is a script writer. The third is the mother of my daughter, Pat. And the fourth is as fine a cook as ever performed miracles in a domestic kitchen. And their names are all, are all Alma Reville. I hope that now the next time that you see an Alfred Hitchcock film, you think about Alma and the fact that she had such an important impact to his film legacy. Thank you so much. So, join us next week. I've got a very awesome non-industry uh, guest that we're going to be discussing. 
She actually wrote one of my favorite books of all time that I read and reread every year. So tune in next week to learn all about that. <laughs> Thanks!